Uh, good afternoon. I'm Mark Evanson. This is my civic action plan of cannabis decriminalization. The problem that I'm trying to address in my issue is the decriminalization of marijuana on a congressional level to help um, pass convicts to seek better sentences and help apply them for expungement of their federal charges once they'll be able to be released after seeking new sentences. The reasoning for my issue is that there are still innocent prisoners serving felony sen sentences for um, the possession and distribution of the product while being in prison states that still what, have now approved the legislation of its recreational use and legal sale. And although cannabis corporations and businesses are um, now making profit off of the products, there are like past offenders who have been arrested and unjustly sentenced decades ago that are like still being held unjustly under the prison system while newly accepted laws are um, being legislated and they don't apply to their amnesty. The desired outcome I want to uh, get out of my issue is that I want to organize a platform that supports the decriminalization and provision of amnesty to pass convicted people while spanning to national parties and interest groups that support my idea. And I was hoping to um, just like spread my issues awareness on a level platform and um, get some sort of like gain interest from media users. The measurable outcome, I believe that I could like find, I could like found um, an interest group on social media, such as like Instagram, which that was like my main um, source of use. And that it supports like the decriminalization of cannabis and um, conviction amnesty while expanding to national parties and interest groups that supported my idea. And I believe that, I don't know if I succeeded when my objective gets done for spreading the awareness on, of this issue on my platform and getting some sort of interest from other social media users, where it's like 10 or more people, 20, 30 people, you know, that's fine with me. On my communication step, I, the first action I did was emailing the interest group normal which is an acronym for the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws. My reasoning was to organize, the, oh, sorry. My reasoning was that uh, normal, they're organized to address the issue of decriminalization and injustice done to pass possession and distribution of offenders. And the outcome is that I sent my email asking for like information and I received feedback from the state's policy coordinator about information on arrest data. And, um, well, arrest data in like all 50 states, whether it's like legal or illegal. And it was from this decade, as well as the racial disparities of these arrests, given um, a demographic. The second step I took was emailing the American for Safe Access or ASA organization. And the reason is that they thoroughly researched the therapeutic uses of uh, cannabis to ensure safe and legal access for the public. And they also work to restore the public education and direct advocacy of cannabis at the state, local, state, and federal level. Outcome is that I received feedback as well, but they just directed me to their website. <laughs> where, um, that's where basically all, all their main, main research is located. And it was... Well, the, the link they sent me, it just took me to, like, this category of, like, medicinal research and um, uh, reasonings, like, of their opposing argument to uh, cannabis being a gateway drug. But I had a lot of good information because the medicinal research, it, like, showed the side effects or, like, benefits upon diseases like Alzheimer's, PTSD, uh, Parkinson's, and even asthma. The third action I took was emailing the information center of the Marijuana Policy Project. And the reason is that their foundation has gained a, a major influence in Congress throughout time. And they advocate to change state laws or to reduce or eliminate penalties for the medical and non-medical use of cannabis. Such as they had an influence in the California legislation. And my outcome is that I got no response. Like, they seem to be... Uh, a big platform so I wasn't expecting like anything quick even with the persistency 
So I just decided to do my own research on the website, uh, mpp.org. Hmm. So, and I found useful um, information, so it wasn't too bad. Such as, um, as well as like medicinal research and uh, arrest data as well. Hmm. On my awareness step, I only um. I I kind of had like a confusion like I didn't um is there like multiple methods I guess I just did one which my was my social media platform but the first step step I took in um addressing my issue was addressing why decriminalization is important because I want to spread awareness of people who are still convicts in legal states where um possession and distribution is now acceptable. And the outcome is it, was, it received little likes to begin because it was a new account, and but it gained more throughout time. Like the more I shared on my main platform, and um, the more I just like you know posted. The second step I took was informing statistics of decriminalizing in the decriminalization in the U.S. Actually, and that was like well sourced from um, the uh, normal organization with the information that they sent me as well as the marijuana policy project and this was to inform followers of the status quo of like my issue you know like how's um the legalization and decriminalization is like uh being um progress throughout the u.s so far and the outcome is it gained more likes from the last post which is you know it's a it's a pro and the follower count up went up as well. So the third step I took was addressing racial disparities of decriminalization, uh, especially within the war on drugs, which um had a major impact within minority communities and people who uh, still serving sentences to this day. Um, this is because I want to communicate about people of color and communities affected by the war on drugs. Uh, the political campaign throughout time and its um decriminalization of marijuana which basically still have um offenders like unjustly held by the state laws and federal laws as well mm -hmm. and the outcome is that it received the most likes on my page while also fulfilling my role as spreading my awareness mm -hmm. so that um <laughs> oh I'm sorry mm -hmm. Okay, I had to silence my phone. But, yeah. That was, like, um, the big uh, step within my social media platform. And along with um, the other posts that I had as well, they um, received the same amount of likes, but this was, like, the one, uh, the post I worked on the most. <laughs> the pressure step I took was only had one that's, like, currently applicable. And it was the volunteer opportunities because it easily advantages me to socially gather up other people who like show interest in my issue. And um, as well as the followers on my platform and notify them of how they can help. And the outcome is that I managed to get a decent group of people. It started off, I got so far nine people. But it's still like in progress. But what I did was I list like certain ways for them to like help my project, including like emailing organizations such as Normal, uh, ASA, and the MPP, Marijuana Policy Project, that I mentioned before with, and it was like a, a pre-written email that I already had. So, you know, it could be easier on my, my followers. And as well as like sharing my Instagram platform under uh, social medias as well, so I can like gain more awareness for it. So, yeah, I was still um, looking forward to like uh, using other action steps and see if um, I could like get them in by the 16th. But right now, um, they're still in the progress, but I'll make sure I get to that. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.